In our world where things often turn on a dime, isn't it good to know our God never changes? Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we read about how consistent God is no matter the circumstances going on in our world. Hebrews 13.8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 1.12, you, Lord, are always the same. You live forever. This attribute of being the same is comforting because thanks to Ephesians 3.6, we have... we. We know both Gentiles and Jews who believe the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both are part of the same body and both enjoy the promise of blessing because they belong to Christ Jesus. Galatians 3.14 Through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing he promised Abraham. So we are all believers. So we who are believers might receive the promised Holy Spirit through faith. Galatians 3 9. So all who put their faith in Christ Jesus is has the same blessing Abraham received because of his faith. Here's some more good news. 2 Corinthians 9 10. For God is the one that provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way he will provide and increase your resources and the produce and then produce a good harvest of generosity in you. 2 Corinthians 1 4 He comforts us all in our troubles so we can comfort others when they are troubled. We will be able to give them the comfort God has given us. 1 Corinthians 12, 6. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. 1 Corinthians 12, 4. These are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of all of them. Romans 10, 12. Jews and Gentiles have the same Lord who gives generously to all who call on him. Romans 8.11, just as God raised Christ from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by this same spirit living in within you. John 14.12, I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works that I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. Isaiah 54.10, the mountains may move and hills disappear, but even then my faithful love for you will remain. As we are created in God's image, we inherit this ability to do this in Jeremiah 15, 4. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. A branch cannot produce fruit if it is not connected to the vine, and you cannot bear fruit unless you are you remain connected to me. Verse 5, those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Words of encouragement. The message here is despite how we feel, despite what we're going through, Our God never changes. He's as faithful today as he was in the day of Moses and Abraham. How reassuring this is. Romans 8, 37. Despite calamity, persecution, hunger, danger, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ. Verse 38. Nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Have a great day. Jesus is King.